to In the Booth with me and my amazing co-host Alpha Mel. What up, what up? And we have an amazing guest, AK47. Thank you AK, so much. AK, what up? Welcome, man. what it is, man. AK47 coming live to you all the way from Jersey, Newark, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? We Damn, I don't even have Jersey. to ask a question. We on the come up, you feel me? Let's go. So who is AK47? That's a deep question. I know. You gotta get there's layers to it, you know what I'm saying? So I'll tell you one thing. Let's start off with the fact that there's a forty seven at the end of my name. There's no reason for it. And I see AK is like in the beginning yeah, of your so, first name. You know, too. I really like to be addressed as AK to be honest. Yeah. Because when I rap, you know, I ain't on no I ain't on no um you know what I'm saying, no fucking I'm about to pull up and do this, that and third, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really about that. I about nah, to make music that you know, people can turn up to and have a good time. You know what I mean? So that's my thing. I like to make party music, you feel me? And then I also I also sing on the low. People don't know that, so I do You want to sing right now? I don't want to sing right now. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not while he's smoking, not yeah, while he's smoking. Mm. So the AK-47, is it just because your name starts with an AK or did you want to like I represent something? That because I, when I was young, I used to play basketball. So they used to call me AK-47 because I was really nice with, with the um, three point. I had a really good three point shot. Okay, okay. So niggas really started calling me Dimes at first and Dimes was like, the fuck? So I was like, all right, you got to switch this up. So yeah. the accuracy led to my name turned to AK-47 from playing for And where, where you was playing basketball at? Like, where you from? Park, so I'm from Hillside. Yeah. I said Hillside, New Jersey. All right. It's where I'm from, born and raised. All right. Been there for 22 shout years. Shout out Jersey, shout out Jersey. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I'm from there, and then we moved, and that's a different story, but I lived there for like 22 years of my life. You know what I'm saying? This is actually one of my best friends was my neighbor. And um, yeah, so you know, we grew up around there. So it's like, I lived on the good side of town, but you know, the the bad side of town, as they would say, yeah. is the other side right there. And yeah. we had multiple businesses. So it was like, I'm on both sides. So I'm growing up watching all of this. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm watching everything that's going on. So it's like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, everybody's kind of attracted to do some, you know, when it's wrong, but fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? Everything's a learning experience to you. Yeah. So it's like everything that I've been through is for a reason. That's what I believe in. So, what you've been through though like so you you grew up in the in a basically uh in the suburbs right because you you were fortunate yeah, to have so, you know your, your yeah, family yeah, owns uh no yeah i ain't growing up in no projects no nah, yes but you say your your family had the liquor stores in the in the urban areas yes and that's sure. where you pretty and much also, met everybody also what do you call them? i lived in queens for a little bit with my grandparents one seven yeah Jamaica. Nice. so shout out to queens you feel me all right um i lived with them for a while I didn't go to school out there, but you know, I met a lot of cool people. I learned a lot. That's honestly where I got a lot of inspiration from for rap. Who, who's yeah. Your was living in Queens, you know what I mean? Who's your inspiration? My, my favorite rapper since I was a kid, honestly, I keep it a buck, was really Eminem. And I got three older sisters. Yeah, yeah. So they was always listening to hip hop, you feel me? So they kind of, I was already had a thing. Like when I first heard it, I was like, okay. It's interesting, you know what I mean? So, like, there's honestly, like, there's videos of me, like, that's kid. Yeah, rapping and shit, right? Lyrics, you know? Yeah. I'm throwing the middle finger up and shit, you know what I'm saying? I knew, knew, knew all the lyrics to the real sense. So you me. said, you said earlier that, <laughs> yeah, I feel, you said earlier you don't, you, you into doing the party music. So I appreciate that, because, you know, people come from the burbs and they think they could talk all that hush shit, and yeah. they're not really from that, you know what I mean? So you doing the party music, wrong, that, you know like, what I mean? You know, 
I'm I'm definitely around. Like I said, probably my environment is probably the biggest yeah. thing I stress on. Like, there's a lot of people that I fuck with, and and you know they're not. You could say they're not living the most proper or perfect yeah. lifestyle, but. Mm. But I have a question. It's like trials and tribulations. You feel me? You learn a lot. You learn what who to not be around as you grow older, and it's like I kind of cut my circle down. No, you got to. Well, you have way. to. My bad. But um. I forgive you. But yeah, so it's like you know. <laughs> I kind of have to come my circle down, see yeah. who, who's really around me, and yeah. who's really who's really there and who's really not. You know what I mean? Because it's it, it's a it's a silver lining to everything, and mm -hmm. and you really gotta keep your eyes open. Otherwise, you are gonna get taken advantage of. Yeah, That's for sure. I in, you know what yeah. I mean? So, mm -hmm. did your family and friends support you when you first started rapping? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because because it, it's a I have rapping like, and you're not in the business. Three friends that supported that shit. Yeah. But, Besides, besides that, my family was like, yeah, go ahead, do it for fun. Because, you know, I'm not going to lie, yeah. I grew up privileged. Mm -hmm. Definitely come from a privileged background. You know what I'm saying? So, nothing wrong like, with that. We own, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I own it. You right, know, ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Right. You'll be like, oh, yeah. like, you know, I, I just made, you know, the 100 racks off the streets. Nah, that's not me. But yeah. I could if I wanted to, because <laughs> I've been around, around a lot of shit. Them. But I'm not going to, because I know the risk. I got a lot to lose. Not Once I sure. realized that, that's kind of when I my bad. But that's yeah. kind of when I realized that, okay, there's more to it than just running around the streets. You feel me? For sure. So, for sure. So what you got going on right now? Like, what's coming out? What, so what, what we got to look now, forward to? So, you know, I went kind of on, like, a hiatus. And, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. people were like, yo, what is this kid doing? Why? At this point. Honestly, I was going through. I'm not going to go deep into it, but I'll, I'll go surface with you. Um, I'll be honest, it's gonna be yeah. the most like open I've been in any situation. That's but why I you're was, in the booth. Exactly. Talk about it. So I definitely was going through some drug problems. Yeah. And um You said you said drug problems. Yeah. So I, I was like, let me figure this shit out on my own. And it wasn't that easy. Mm. Yeah. I'm still working on it. You know, I got friends that, you know, have hit rock bottom from it. So it's like watch this watch this shit like that. Kind of puts it into perspective, like yeah, this is something sure. that you want to do long term. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know, there's medicines that are prescribed but that don't justify anything to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, it's like you know, a doctor prescribed you fucking like what is it like fucking like sixty percent of the population is prescribed Xanax. You know what I mean? Right. And that should give you seizures. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. They don't care. They just care about that money. Alcohol, mm -hmm. like yeah, for sure. Food, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah. Unfortunately. I ain't gonna lie, I am prescribed that. And unfortunately, I have a seizure issue. And now ah. if I stop that, yeah. it's gonna turn into an issue. So how did you overcome it? Well, what really helped was music, honestly. because that's, Music always helps, yeah, man. Music, music is always music helping. Helped me. Yeah. That's really when I started taking music seriously was mm -hmm. after I had my first seizure. Mm. So that shit good, huh? Silence. Moment of silence for the gumbo, yeah. You know yeah. Mean? Exactly. We need a moment of silence. Mm -hmm. I apologize. I don't, yeah. don't want no dead air on this one. Now nah, you good, man. Right. You know I mean? it's, a, it's a deep moment so right I here. I did have my first season. Like I said, I, I will keep it surface because it is a very touchy situation. Yeah, I don't yeah. even remember it. I did flatline. You know what I mean? So wow. It was a very oh, wow. serious situation. As man, we glad you're here, you man. Still here, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's why I feel like, you know, there's a reason why I'm still here. And, you know, it's, it, it's taking a while. I'm trying to figure out, okay, what am I here for? So yeah. I know for a fact that I got to do my family businesses, you know. And luckily, I was blessed. My dad, you know, we got um, liquor stores. We so you think I'm in 1942? Mm -hmm. I had to ask. He just don't sell the the ballet. He said. The whole case. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. I'm <laughs> so, give you his address. Girl. Let me let me ask you a question though. <laughs> so she get for sure. Exactly. For sure. Just don't she fuck don't up get. my name and we're good. <laughs> No, nah, but let me ask you. This is, you know, you flatlining and stuff. Um, this is before you started making music or after? This is midway through making music. So, so you already I, got I, the I was, streams going I crazy. Thought, I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was the shit. So yeah. I had a big ego at that time. All you right. know? Um. 
So now you humbled 2018, yourself? 2018, yeah. 2018, you know, the, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Mm-hmm. Up until I was really, like, I, I was born in 96. So up until I was born, I mean, up until I was, uh, you know, <laughs> like 20, yeah. 25 is when stuff kind of started hitting me. Like, okay, you yeah, yeah. stop joking around. Because you're 27 now. Yeah, exactly. You mm-hmm. know? So it's like, all right, if you're going to do this music shit, like, this is Take it, it serious. Yeah, put them drugs yeah, down, yeah, pick yeah. that mic up. Exactly. For real. So that's really yeah. what it turned into. So I'm going to try to get in the studio as much as I can. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to do my thing as much as I can. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I still have fun. You know yeah, yeah. Saying? So I could yeah. see by that that sound that, that song you got out. Um, exactly. what it, what's it called? Tell me what to do, little mama. What's that the name was, of that? that <laughs> Tell them where they can find that. That, that shit had me jumping yeah. in the car. That was called Little Mama. Yeah. Like I said, and that is the newest single that I'm about to have. You know. Yeah. It was the first one to hear it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. She put me on. She was like, "Yo, check this out." <laughs> mm. That shit was dope. Alana was the first one I sent it. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I trust her. But know. you got the video out for it too. Yeah, we got the video for yeah. it. And honestly, it was so worth it. And it was great. But the thing with me was I was always waiting. Like, when is the right time to put it out? Yeah. When is the right time? It's, exactly. Yeah. And I didn't realize that. Just do it. I was like, you know, 27. Mm-hmm. I turned 27 on January 4th. Yeah. And I knew a little bit happy before related. that. Happy drop it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, January 4th, happy belated. That's my next birthday. Yeah. So much. Yeah. Ain't gonna lie, but again, birthday gifts all fucking month. It's fucking blowing my mind. Every day is my birthday. My shit so passed a again. while ago. I, ain't, I don't remember the yeah, gift. Exactly. <laughs> my birthday's coming up. <laughs> Heavy month, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Nah, but so, um, yeah, the soundtrack, the song, I keep saying soundtrack because you came in like a movie, but the song <laughs> is fire, man. Like, um, I like the feeling to it. The bounce is dope. Yeah, you know what I mean? And know. meeting you, you know what I mean? It matches the energy. So yeah, I yeah. really I appreciate the song more. Know what I mean? bro. What I... made you come up with the concept, though? Mm. Yeah. Like I said, this weed is good. Hold up. <laughs> but when I was silence Yeah, again? moment of silence for sure. Thank God. You welcome. Word, for real. But that's the drug so, to pick up right there. Yeah, if you want to sure, do drugs, smoke man. Weed, yeah, smoke, smoke weed, weed man. If better, you want to smoke drugs, do drugs and shit. shit. Trust me. For real. If you smoke your Zal, you really gonna you gonna, you gonna be, be good. good. Trust <laughs> me. You don't need nothing else. For you real. Really don't. And you don't even need like five, six buns a day. Honestly, you don't you even need like, weed. Like but if you want to pick something up, pick up weed, man. For real. Yeah. If you gonna get something, get weed. Get weed or get a cart. <laughs> or sell it nah mm-hmm. Guys, mm-hmm. so what you were saying what you were saying bro and that's Honestly, why we're in the booth <laughs> remind me real quick so how did you get the concept yeah the concept yeah, for the so song when I, when I go into the booth you know I kind of let my mind wander so so I, what we do so luckily see. I was blessed I'm blessed with my um with my uh with my engineer who is like my best friend his name is he goes under the name Picasso. His real name is Fabian. Yeah. You feel me? I, I, he know me since I first started trying to rap over instrumentals mm-hmm. from like Lil Wayne and, and this and the third, yeah. thinking I was a shit. So he's been know? recording you since the beginning. Yes. And he's still you recording a you. Little itty bitty baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's dope because the chemistry is there. You know what I mean? The friendship is so there. That's, so that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. So yeah. what I was going to get to is. The way that we got shit set up is that, you know, I ain't never tripping over no beat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we always good. You feel me? So I don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of artists are like, oh, I got to pay my producer. I got to pay for mixing, messing. Nah, mastering, you got it right there. Yeah. I got a whole, a whole that's thing. Fire. My man's just a whole thing. And that's dope. he's done soundtracks for Netflix. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Mixed by Picasso is his Instagram. Yeah. But um, shout out to him. You know, he's a shipper. He did a cyberpunk like video game. Yeah, the whole soundtrack. Yeah, I, I know the name. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That's what's up, man. He did multiple, multiple other soundtracks that I can't remember. But right. It is what it is. He does. His does he music. rap or he just? Yeah, he actually does make music. That's what right. you oh, ask. Nice. Puerto Rican he makes. Uh, make bring him on the show, See? man. My fellow Bodhi. You know what I mean? Shout out Puerto Rico. Fucking <laughs> mad as hell that I didn't bring him. Honestly. He's yeah, yeah. Nah, he can come next time. Next time we gonna. Yeah, for sure. This is not the only time y'all gonna see me on this. Nah, for sure. Man, you gonna see more AK. I'm letting y'all know right now. I fuck with him. I love the energy in here. You feel me? So thank you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. I told you. You know, me, me and a lot of we're texting before this talking about setting it up and yeah. honestly through the text alone I can feel the vibe was gonna be straight but yo back to the way I get into the booth what it is right, yeah, what I you do the vibe, you feel me I get the beat going my boy you know we ain't worried about no splits right now we just mm-hmm. trying to get we just trying to get lit, wait you know so he's making the beats as well we honestly there's times 
90 percent of the times we we make the beat as mm-hmm. i'm writing the lyrics i'm big on pen game oh that's dope because i'm yeah. I, i'd rather write my rhymes and pen game than, than just jump <laughs> shout out to the pen game yeah, man, exactly. Devo. you know a lot of people try to throw that shit throw that in the fucking trash yeah but in reality writing down your your lyrics is way more efficient mm-hmm. than anything else i'll be honest yeah um unless you're like will wayne and you can fucking freestyle off the dome most of them do it yeah yeah most of them do it Mm i think either either, eminem writes but you know i mean either or they fire you know what i mean you know what i mean so it's 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 i feel when it's a thin line yeah yeah i feel writing it down you know but then when you in the booth don't read it that's how i feel because yo you got the you you give more feeling like that that's a fact because if you if you write it down Mm -hmm. sometimes and and then you get in the booth, it's not going to come out the way that you, you read it. It's, it sounds like a book. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's how I feel. Yeah. That's why I go according to where the beat is being made. Mm-hmm. That way I can set my lyrics up accordingly. So that's why it's a good relationship that I have with my, with my, uh, you need that relationship mixer and master mastering. Mm-hmm. So he went to school for it. You feel me? Right. Yeah. So we got, and so I don't know whatever degree they get, but they get the whole degree. <laughs> he got them. Yeah, so we got the whole yeah. nine yards and that shit. That's what's up. And so that's why, you know, shouts out to him because that's really how I do it. I catch the vibe and, and we write as we go, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and as we go, we come up with, you know, sometimes I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not, I'm, like I said, I hate lying. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, we, he helps with works. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? No, nah, but it's a family thing. Right. Like, yo, come bro, on. you gonna get writing credit. Like, he don't even be asking. Yeah. Like, yo, no, you good. Like, oh, but that's yeah. what makes you want to give it. Exactly. More. When the person doesn't ask, honestly, because I've been used so many times mm-hmm. in my life, I have so many friends. But isn't like, that the industry, up. though? Yeah. Yeah, the industry that's, is just like that. That's what I learned. I didn't notice that for a while. But, you know, like I said, I thought I was, I had an ego. I thought I was cool. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When I was like 22, 23, you know, I thought I was doing my thing, which I was yeah. to an extent. But, but you was, was doing too much. Focused, yeah, you know, yeah. Where I should be. All right. If I was as focused as I was now, yeah. at that age, we might have been in a whole completely different situation. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Exactly. The reboot. But the I reboot. wouldn't be a lot of love if I didn't ask. What's the craziest thing that happened in the studio for you? The craziest situation in the studio. It wouldn't be a Besides you thing. being there. Yeah. You fucking, <laughs> besides you being there. Funny as hell. Yeah, all right, well, before we get to that, yeah. no, why? let's pour up a shot. <laughs> I got you, man. Go ahead, go ahead. What's the craziest thing? I got yeah, you. And as, yeah, as you do. All right, look. The craziest thing that's mm-hmm. ever happened in the studio? All right, all right. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Please share. I love storytelling. Okay, story okay I just remember this. Melba's too. Head. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right, so my, my uh, engineer allegedly all right allegedly has had a lot of uh females in his life at one time and i warned him. <laughs> allegedly <laughs> i warned him about yeah. this yeah. and he took my advice allegedly yeah. allegedly uh-huh all right everything is allegedly we, 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 you gotta we say it the bus gotta but say it. one day we're midway through my session i'm in the booth and all of a sudden, one of the females that was in this loop of love or uh-huh. love triangle or uh-huh. whatever Thank the hell you. you want, love square. Yeah. Uh-huh. The love pyramid. Love, the hectagon or the octagon. Or the okay. Square. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She comes busting in the door and she literally just starts beating my producer's ass. Like, what did he do to her? And look, I'll tell you, like my, like, I'm not the tallest dude. Like, I'm only like five eight and a half, not five nine. And a half. Eight. You needed to add the half. half. Yeah, I did because like when they told me I was five eight, they're like, so I'm five three and a half. Five and eight and a half, bro. Yeah, you're you're like in between. So, so I'm five meds. three and a half. <laughs> well, then you got to you left me. I know I'm fun <laughs> size. I'm so good. it sounds like Shorty was small. The owner, you feel me? Oh, I do. Well. <laughs> Don't worry, I do. As long as going, <laughs> so Shorty yeah. was little, I'm guessing. So wait, what would you say? That she ran in the studio, started beating up your boy. Yeah, so he yeah. she runs in the studio, literally barges in. I mean, I'm talking the door comes. It's as if if this door was closed, somebody fucking knocked that shit mm-hmm. out. They don't think we was about to fucking get robbed, bro. <laughs> That's how crazy she was coming. And she came and just starts hitting this, hitting my man, bro. Pause. But him, my dude, and my engineer, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And she's airing them out. 
putting all the business in the air. So I'm learning all types of shit. Yeah. Like, just, I didn't know this is about you. I just you. out the booth. I'm just standing there like, yo, I'm keeping my distance. Yeah, yeah. Start firing on me. <laughs> That's Maybe how it be. You got to stand back. Out. Don't she, get involved. She's not a small woman. Mm-hmm. All right? Shout oh, out to all right, all right. beautiful big girls out there. You feel yeah. me? We won't, we won't discriminate. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out to the big girls. Is, she's not a small woman. Yeah. So whoop your, so you could definitely whoop someone's ass. Damn. And uh, that yeah. was probably one of the worst experiences I ever. Yeah, but that didn't happen to you. Yeah, that's to him. But if you want to get to me, it's like you know when yeah, I go to the studio, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, not like a recluse with that. You feel me? I like to go alone. I don't like people in my. Okay, section. so oh, you lock in. Thing that happened to you, you lock in. You don't be in the studio with people. Yeah, the nastiest thing that's ever happened. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I want. Nah, but it's not juicy. But I'll still tell you. It's not. It's, we it's won't not tell nobody. I promise. Nah, it's not even. It's not even that serious. <laughs> Look, I had a cockroach so, on the top of my fucking yeah, so, ass. So, on the top of your dick. Ah, so, so. you Pause. funny as hell. Pause. Pause. I, I, you trying to make me drink after that? Mm hmm. Yo, so I'm in a booth, and I'm fucking recording. I got my headphones on, and ever since this day, I only wear a hoodie when I'm in the booth. Cause I'm like, yo, no, fuck that. A it's hoodie in the booth? Yeah, hell, hell no. Cause I ain't never getting caught laughing like this. Them roaches is like that. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas is like fucking army fucking soldiers. So I'm, I'm on the booth. So there was roaches in the yo, booth? literally on the mic. There was like three that came Come on, bro. What like, the fuck? What the What's fuck? Where was that at? So I would never go Yeah, there. I was about to say exactly that. We're going to leave the studio name. I'm That's why I shoot him. I don't want to tarnish my <laughs> Ain't no roaches here. Um, but uh, the, it's not too expensive. Did you become friends with the roaches? No, I, let's just say that that studio is, uh, is in the past. Oh, okay. We have to leave that. Yeah, yeah. It's I still open, though? So. Is it still open? Yeah, it is. Uh, so there's still people going in there. Like, it's ew. Disgusting. Anyway. But it is what it is. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, we got... Thinking about it, got me like, really so you and your engineer, you guys go to a specific yeah, studio, so like, or y'all got your own studio. So for instance, so one of my videos that's yeah. out on YouTube right now. So on YouTube, my thing is, is unfortunately I fucked up on on paperwork a lot. So I never got things signed by the artists that I work with, mm-hmm. including Six Nine, including uh, fucking Richard Kid, including Payment Stex. Yeah, I got two tracks from it, Damn. and including uh, you know a couple other people that. I need a signature song. Yeah. And not all these songs are released. Like I still got stuff that's on the way. But, okay. you know, two or three of the songs are released. But the thing is, is that the algorithm isn't going to bring you to them because mm-hmm. of the fact that, one, they're demonetized. Yeah. You feel me? That's one. Oh, yeah. And two, on top of that, it's like I'm screwed because I don't have a signature that states, okay, this artist has approved for me to like for me to monetize mm-hmm. off of whatever he may have done on the track. Yeah. And a lot of the times you can cut a deal, but when it comes to talking deals with these major artists, it's like talking to a brick wall. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So and this is gonna sound crazy as fuck. And you like crazy. It's <laughs> look, I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's really it's really wild. Like, honestly, and people aren't going to believe me, but the easiest person to work with was actually 6 9 He was six easy nine. as fuck. Now, I called him before he was a snitch. Mm-hmm. So I actually fucked with his music before he turned into, before he Billy. I think we all did before he shit. did that sucker shit. I but really liked that yeah, music yeah. before all that, all that fucking, before he dropped Gumbo or Gumbo yeah. or whatever. Oh, you was fucking with me. Yeah, because I started on Gumbo, like, or nah, Gumbo, so whatever yeah, it was called. He has, yeah. he has a song called Hell Sensation. Mm-hmm. That's what put me on to him because yeah. it's like the way he expresses himself reminded me a little bit of me because I know, I know that amount of anger in the studio. Mm-hmm. Like, the, there's a lot of times where I let all the anger out in the booth. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I felt, <clears throat> I felt him on that. So I was like, all right, pause, by the way. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, right, pause so that. I, I was like, <laughs> like, I was so you don't fuck with him no more, huh? So I'll, I'll get to it right now. Yeah, so I wanted to ask know, that he, too, so for he sure. Comes yeah. through, he comes through, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what, I hear a little six times for you guys. Mm-hmm. So he comes through, right? I, got, I, I contact him. Get in touch with his people. It's one, two, three. Now I mean six times. Tells him six times. Like, all right, where's the, where's the studio at? Yeah. And by the way, this is at the Cockroach Studio. <laughs> so we go in. Now I'll tell you one thing, man. Like, 
people try like there is a misconception about Six Nine that like people try to say like he's like some fucking like uh, some fucking like you know goody two shoes, but this nigga is really rowdy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he, All right, but you could be rowdy, well, but you know you gotta match that energy. He's still a fraud, though. Yeah, yeah he's still no, a fraud. I agree. I agree. Look, I'm not justifying it anyway, yeah. but it wasn't in a way where I was like, yo, like this don't dude say you're part to- of a like. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And you said it perfect. Jail, so it's like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and with that. and you know, like, well, I'm trying to touch on that. Like, I I understand kind of because you know they put his his mom's yeah. and you know all that crazy he's shit, got, but still he's like got points. But at the end, nah. Of the day, yeah, nah, it, come on, bro. You, know you can't do that. Like, so you did he he now, like, like now, yeah. If he didn't have be security bad, behind horrible. him, he wouldn't do half like anything that he's doing. He dropped the address. He landed in New Jersey in fucking Morristown, literally, like. Trying to flex, talking mm-hmm. about, oh, I'm dropping the location. Bro, you're with at the FBI, bro. Who All the time. Right, yeah. exactly. No and if you don't, coming. they would too. If you don't we think know. they would too, yeah, we for know. sure. We know. But yeah. if he didn't have anybody behind him, yeah. like, exactly. he would die. That's, that's uh-huh. the main thing. You so would, yeah, like, for sure. So that's the main thing. That's that's what, so back to, let me get back to my shit. So, yeah, yeah, got so it. he pulls up to the studio. So I picked this thing up from the from, uh, train station. Six hours, bro. Yeah. Like, for real, for real. Like, they ain't, ain't have shit. So he pulls up, he's broke. He pulls up with his man, his cameraman, who's fired. His cameraman is solid. I don't yeah. know what happened between them, but I think there was a little fall. You remember his name? Give him a shout out. Tripe Drew. Shout uh-huh. out to Tripe Drew. Shout out, yeah. Because he's a good ass dude. His music is fire. Mm-hmm. He stays away from all that bullshit. And even throughout the whole process of that whole trial and everything that was going on, yeah. he stayed out the way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And did his thing. But um, that is one of Six Nine's first friends. Like I know of that, I know of Six Nine due to him. But anyway, so we in the studio and we had a session for twelve o'clock. Now at mm-hmm. uh, it was fucking twelve o seven, and there was seriously like at least ten to thirteen people in the studio. Yeah. And this dude, like this small or a little bigger. It, it, all right, hang on, let's see. I'm saying uh, this ain't studio, small, but you know what I mean, know, like. Bro, bro, it is, it's probably, all right, the, all right, one, because that, that'd be crazy, those sessions with 20 big. people in the room, like, and then, I would die. Dude, yeah, this crazy. again, multiply it, yeah. and then that's how it's, all right, all right. it's not too small, okay? yeah. so it's like two of this, you know what I mean, so yeah. this times two, yeah. that's how large, now anyway, it's 13 people, so like right. 10 to 13 people, I don't remember the exact count, all I remember is this, at 12 o'clock was our session. At 12 07, I was like, bro, they, they're about to finish. Like, you know, like my man's are texting me, my engineer, mm-hmm. Paso. Yeah. He texted me saying, like, yo, they're about to finish in like five minutes. So I told him, like, yo, they're about to finish in five. And he's like, oh, no, I've been waiting for seven minutes. What the fuck that? <laughs> seven so minutes. The next thing, I know, but it seven was Sounds, sounds familiar. Yeah. They, no, she's impatient, patient. too. <laughs> this nigga was too, it was too long. This is our show. You're not supposed to say it. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, so it was seven yeah. minutes and so, he tripping. So seven minutes, he started, he started yeah. bugging out. So he fucking opens the door and he's literally trying to start a confrontation. I'm, I'm gonna be like, bro, I'm like, we're like, luckily his other boy was with him too. Mm-hmm. His name is Slasher. Yeah, shout out to him. He pulled him out. He was like, bro, chill, bro. Like, so he always been rowdy. Like, yeah, packed out, bro. There's Thirteen people behind <laughs> him playing around, bro. Like, he's from Dre City, bro. Like, yeah. Don't play around with Yeah, Josie said he got it in. Yeah. They was ready. Like mm-hmm. and they knew I had a session. They respected it. So they, yeah. was, they was just finishing up. The, the track was like bouncing, but that was my experience with them. But fucking it was it was Did you drop the song with him? Yeah, we did. We dropped the song and honestly I gained a huge international following from that. Right. One of the biggest what nationality are you again? You Russian. One of my big my biggest country that I rocked with it was Russia. I'm oh, a yeah. fake Russian though, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. 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 I'm a fake Indian. That's overseas though, man. That's that, that's dope. Yeah, that's so super Russia, dope. Russia, mm-hmm. Croatia, and Ukraine were were three countries. So being so that much. you know, being that you were huge. You know, you from you know the nice area, like you said, right? But you know, you're familiar with the hood. Exactly. You feel like you gotta live by those laws, or or like you feel like you're that's a citizen. True. Well. Uh, all right, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna snitch on nobody, bro. So you you, know, you my, stick to that law, yeah? Yeah, because bro, right. I'm I'm the type that if I'm just if I'm gonna do him. the time, yeah, <laughs> I already know. Like, mm-hmm. if but I'm you ain't yeah. in a situation, it's it's my decision to get into exactly. it. Exactly. So if I'm getting into it and there's consequences, it's my fault. Yeah, you know right. I ain't about to blame the next man. Mm-hmm. I, I, I always own up to my shit. 
you can even ask my right hand man right over there. Like yeah. he even he see me on up to shit. Like I ain't about to front. Like I'm about right, I'm about, about to cap. I'm not I'm not gonna cap and be like, oh no, it was him or it was him or it was him. Yeah. No, like I whatever you found, unfortunately, if they find, they don't. You know, cops are uh, not the best. Yeah. Searchers, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know. Let's see. Leave that on the radar. Right? <laughs> for us, right? Yeah. And um, so you know. Is what it is. If if anything is found, I claim it. Like I ain't okay. I ain't about to let my man go down. Like right. for, for that shit. You feel me? Yeah. If it's mine, especially. All right. You know what I mean. So and there's been a lot of a lot of situations. I've been in California where I've been pulled over, and my my boy ended up catching a DUI. Mm-hmm. And the cop told me he knew I had stuff on me, and he told me he said you got you got two options. Either you walk up that hill and call an Uber, or you can. Put yourself in his handcuffs and come back from jail with me. And needless to say, yeah. So right. uh, call the call. Uber. Option number two. Yeah. Or option number one. Right? Yeah, the Uber. Yeah, I, took I the, would. Yeah. I took yeah. the Uber, the Uber. And I was like, yeah. Uh, you made it pretty easy for me. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I definitely shout out to um, Sam. Yo, Logan, what was it? Santa Monica or Santa Barbara? Uh, Santa Barbara. Shout out to Santa Monica PD. <laughs> But right. before fuck we, what do you yeah. have going fuck, on? Fuck, but fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. I'm just, saying some of them be, you know, some of them be giving some us that little cool. pass. Some yeah. Them giving them flowers. For yeah. Isn't that cool? But for the rest of them, they go choke up. Get better. Go yeah, stop your shit up. For real. For real. What do you have coming up? So, <clears throat> me as far as, so I've been, you know, I've had a lot of off time. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. during this time, you know, this, I've had, you know, with the Indian family, there's so many things that come with it. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, there's a lot of pressure when it comes to the fact of like, okay, I gotta follow my dad's legacy. Mm-hmm. I gotta make sure that I, uh, you know. I saw you wearing the attire. Yeah. I was going through your gram. You, you know, you guys look sure. dapper and that shit. Yeah, you know. So you gotta do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. okay, I'll pop this. You guys pop that real quick. Do you think? Real sure. quick. Side, side, uh, side, side break. <laughs> yeah, ready? Y'all, wait. just don't I'm pop that pop shit on me. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> The benefit, I've been working at a liquor store since I was nine years old. So, so yeah, you, you got to be nice to that shit. When I first started, they had me only bagging bottles. Really. Yeah. I was only allowed to buy it. Like, because if they check me, mm-hmm. it's over. Right. So I was only bagging shit. Yeah. So when I was bagging stuff, I was an amateur. So I learned a lot of stuff. I learned no. where everything was at. Learned- Many That's times I tried opening, I almost like popped it in someone's eye. Well, <laughs> fucking, I almost have like. You ever been taught I you taught myself. Right don't no, good thing. You can learn right now on the show. What, what's the right yeah? What you got to do? Because oh, I don't I even you, know how to do I that type of shit. I smoke weed. I smoke weed. Get a little grip around. Yeah. Like, where's the camera? Wait, we want to get this right. Oh, we're gonna learn today. Do you think? Look at Mel moving back. We gotta pop the champagne the correct way. Yeah. Okay. The thumb, the thumb around the rim. And then pause. Because look so nasty. <laughs> pause that. Oh, do you like to? Do you like a rim job? Use, you like a rim job? <laughs> what? I need to. Yeah, I, I, oh I, man, we was doing so good. We was doing I've so had good. Multiple females have attempted. Yeah. And I've been like, yo. Why? You don't oh, like it? Nah, I'm more. I, Did you, I, you mean? I am a a big fellatio man. <laughs> I am. I am into. into you know fellatio. what? Like whatever I that mean to you. If, if I don't, if I ain't getting, if, honestly, she you, don't you like heard it myself. If she ain't sucking, she, she can take a hike. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You what if I she mean? tries to eat your ass? Oh, it's over. Like, I'm sad. What? I wouldn't be able. How to do you try? Like, how do you try to do that? Like, what do you mean? Come here, motherfucker. <laughs> like, the fuck? I'm going soft, and I'm saying you bugging. Nigga, say I'm going and soft. Unless she's super bad, I'll give her a second chance. Pause. Yeah. If she ain't super bad, I ain't. I'm but how do you know? Out. Maybe you like it. Nah, I ain't trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool on that. I'm cool. He good. That. Wait, hold up. Before you pop yeah, that, wait, wait, wait. tell yeah, tell yeah, everybody, yeah. son, inspirational son, that 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 moves you, and then pop right after that. Man. All right, look, I'll tell you one thing right now. Look, man. look, chasing music, chasing any dream is not easy, and I'll keep it. That's a fact. No matter, there's gonna be people that. Go against everything. Go against the grain, as they would say. People do not believe in you. People are not going to believe in you until they see some type of 
revenue, success, whatever they their perception is of success. Sure. But in reality, all you need to know is that the real happiness can come from inside of you. So if you can if you can manifest and you can make yourself happy off of what you're doing, whatever it may be, that is more important than whatever anyone is thinking about you. Nope. Because you're first, not anyone else. Think about yourself. If you love yourself, it's going to reflect on others regardless. 100%. People are going to feel those vibes. People are going to know. This man, like, you know, for example, people, if you go in an apartment and there's dirty laundry everywhere, mm-hmm. you're going to know. This person don't need to respect this apartment to pick up laundry. If you go to a spot and it's, it, it's, it's perfectly clean, sparkle, sparkling in that bitch, you already know. You respect, respect it. Respect yeah, you respect them all. So, yeah, exactly. So, so that's what I'm saying. So when it comes down to res- it's the same thing. Respect yourself first. Put yourself first. And honestly, try not to listen to the hate because the hate, it's a double-edged sword. You know, it's going to come regardless. Like Alana was saying earlier, it comes sure. from this industry. And that's how it goes. Alana well, knows everything. The line is like a wizard. <laughs> the wizard, the, nah, the, the, the witch. I don't want to say witch, oh, but damn, oh. you, you put me in a position, bro. Like the yeah, the, the female bird. Yeah, that's I'm out. You see, that's it. The first day. The smart woman, the oh, the, the, the goddess. Pop, pop. That's a better word, right? Yeah, the <laughs> there you go. Now you are rehired. Pop that. There you go. Let's go. Like, I'm gonna to shut the fuck up right now. To me being rehired and fired on the look, same this day. This is about to pop. Look, pop. Ready? Yeah. Thumb around. Just grip it. It's easy as hell. Look. One, two, three. See? Okay. That shit made me close my eyes. Pause. I was like. <laughs> and you have a fr- you know, It's all about the wrist. Just make sure you have. So well, that too. <laughs> yeah. You know. Flick of the wrist. Like future wrist. That was, that was shit, right? Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist, yeah. Um, well, Kevin I Gates, I think. Oh, whoever, but... it was, yeah. whoever it was. Yeah. So know. where they can find you at, Brody? But, but you know what I mean? So that's what it is. Yeah. As far as we champagne, we're going to talk about it. Oh, my bad. Let's talk about it. Where can we find you? Uh, hold on. <laughs> Before we get to all that, girl, we're going to get you some champagne. Yes. I'm good on the champagne. I'll have a drink for him. Thank you. I got you. That I'm a real Russian on. Yeah, you you be on your Russian shit for real. I don't know about all Yo, that. Yo, Indian, I, look, I'm Indian, so. Are you? Yeah, I'm Indian, oh, okay. so you know, every movie that shit. You were listening, right? Oh, yeah. That was sarcasm, my fault, I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I speak the language. Oh, you do it all, Cheers. so you, is English your Sorry, first bye. language? Your second? No, nah, English is my first language. Oh, okay, yeah, but you knew both. But I didn't know both. That's All right. Like, that's, that's a very, so where can people crazy. find you? Yeah, where you can find you at? I mean, shit. My Instagram. Damn, I have to change it. Yeah, Logan. Pull my Instagram real quick so I can tell where. Or it you is. could just. You on YouTube? Tell the so I, look, so like you know, we doing look. Since we had a hiatus, we had to come back with a bang. So that's why you know everything is being revamped. You feel what I mean? So we getting everything cracking. Mm-hmm. For 2023 to release, like I said, I got songs of Rich Kid that are coming out. Yeah, Sauce Walker. That's uh, what's up. That's what's up. What do you call? It? You're gonna I put them out all in one, like that. one body of work, or or as singles. Originally, I was gonna do, I was gonna do, uh, you know, one one body of work. Mm-hmm. But now, I'm thinking about renaming my whole. It, it was gonna be called called the project called Brown Paper Boy. Uh, brown Paper Boy because Indians are called brown brown people, and then Paper Boy <laughs> because I was growing up growing up privileged. Yeah. So I was like, all right, it's a good little. It was a high thought. Yeah. I was fucking fried when I thought of that shit. <laughs> I was like, and then you know now in hindsight, I'm like, all right, I need a way better name than that. Yeah. But um, so yeah, so I thought of that shit, and I was like, yeah, Brown Paper Boy. But now. Nah, I'm coming up with a better album name or a little EP name, and uh, I haven't released the name of the EP, but I do have songs recorded. Mm-hmm. Really. I feel you. I got stuff in, in, in the stash, you know what I mean? So I got, I got a lot of stuff that's just in the cut, you know what I mean? So right. I'm waiting for that. You know, I, I like to drop visuals to everything. That's my main thing. I want the visuals out. So, you know, I feel like without the visuals, it, it doesn't come to life. Yeah, yeah. The they hear the voice, they don't see the face. Yeah. Right. Right. You Not yet. I mean, I've been told that they bring, <laughs> they really do bring the, um, the song to life. So, 
So, you know, as soon as I get the visuals done, is when I'm really, you know, fortunately for this song, Little Mama, mm -hmm. I got the visuals done already. Yeah. So, the song is dope, man. The song is dope. And What's the name of the song? Right What's the name of it? The song is officially Little Mama. Little Mama. Little Mama. And that's what Mama. we're going to so hear you could, now. You could, find, you could find Little Mama on Apple Music, yeah. uh, well, all over the place well, like listen, that, or is it? It is actually, look, you guys are actually part of my rollout. So, this, this song is going to be out probably after you see this interview within the next two weeks after I dropped this interview. So, yeah. uh, you know, this song is, is about to come out and uh, it's been a long time in the coming. You already know, I saw the bag on this. It was worth it. Great cameraman, shout out to Mimi Hendrix. The same with the cameraman, shout out to him. And, you know, shout out to y'all for having me on. You Thank you so much Thank for coming you. on. You know, honestly, I had a great time. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, we had a great time too, man. We got it done. Holy, holy, okay. holy vibe. I'm chilling. You know, I'm about to fall asleep on this couch. I know, so, I see you. <laughs> no. Literally, yeah, you know, it feels great. But, like, you know what I mean? But, honestly, um, so, you know, we going to figure out what the name of the project is right. so you can keep an eye out for that. Until then, we punch in AK-47 yeah, and sure. everything should so pop wait. up. Yo, Logan, you know what I mean? pull out my real quick so I can tell my official. You want to pull it out or you want me to do it? He's yeah, doing it. You know I mean? You want me to... And, yo, know, in the you meantime, and honestly, I can't remember that part. Yeah, no, that's my shit. All right, anyway, if, you, if y'all got any questions for me, go on my video. All right, so the Instagram, the underscore AK47 underscore official. Follow my boy. His music is fire. It matches the energy. This is in the booth. Alana Love, Alpha Mel, AK47. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, four, seven, yeah, yeah. I stop dancing like a fool. Tell me what you do, little mama. Suicide throws on the crew. Tell me what you do, little mama. What you got that thing for the loot? Tell me what you do, little mama. Got four, five bitches like you. Chop up the crew. Tell me what you do for the commas like who? I need a freak, no boy, ho. Black and white like an Oreo. Me alone, looking head to toe. Ooh. Type of love like a 40 blood. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Pulling her hair like I'm riding a bike. Gripping her ass like I'm gonna take a bite. Say you ain't second, go bitch, take a hike. Skirt, skirt. Rolling up racks, smoking on pack. So baby girl, go get me a stack. Throw up them ones and I get a bat. Don't talk to Jace, can't fuck with these rats. Chasing that cheddar till I get a bag. Blue cash and we popping them tags. Hit the dance, disappear like a flask. Yo, I style better like a fool. Tell me what you do, little mama. Suicide throws on the crew. Tell me what you do, little mama. What you got that thing for the loot? Tell me what you do, little mama. Got four, five bitches like you. Chop up the crew. Tell me what to do for the commas like ooh. Shorty Jamaican, watch how she shake it. Looking at me like she want me to taste it. Fuck her real good till she say she can't take it. Counting my money, she know that I'm caking. All in my ear, talking temptation. Want them Louboutins, so to stay patient. Is she for real? Is this whole faking? Back it up, nigga, I'm about to take it. Boy, I'm so fly like Peter Pan. And you know I'm geeking off a of Zen. Fuck this, she came, I hit the dash. Esco and Boom and they got it on Smash. <laughs> what was she thinking? Bitch, I ain't saying. She said that I love her, bitch, I was just playing. I was just trying to get into the payers. And I hit her with the dance. I stop dancing like a fool. Tell me what you do, little mama. Suicide throws on the crew. Tell me what you do, little mama. What you got that thing for the loot? Tell me what you do, little mama. Got four, five bitches like you. Chop up the crew. Tell me what to do for the commas like who?